Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. You may be wondering, what is Julie going to be doing in her studio this week? Well, you're not the only one. I don't know. I've got so many ideas and only a limited amount of time like everyone else. Today is the day before Thanksgiving and I've already purchased all the food and prepped things. So I'm good to go and I have some time now. I can spend doing whatever I want. I also have a big commission coming up that I am not ready to start on, which means I don't want to start on another big project that's for my personal use just because I already know I have a big project coming up. So I have a lot of small ideas and I'm not sure which one I want to do, but I'm going to show them all to you and then I'm not going to do them all. That's it. Idea number one is to make two wine glasses. I have a wine glass workshop coming up in a couple weeks and the only two samples I have are these because my other ones are all on display and for sale. And I tested these out. We actually drank from them and I washed them to make sure that they would hold up and they hold up just fine. And now I don't know if I'm gonna keep them or sell them, but I think I wanna make a few more just to show the class or maybe to use for the holidays. So that's idea number one. Idea number two involves these liquid art panels, which I really love because they have a nice, excellent lip on there. And I've already prepped one for spray paint, making three new sunflowers based on photos that I took from my garden. That's idea number two. Idea number three is to finish off this bird that I started in class. This would be my fourth one. It sort of has a purple palette and that's how far I've gotten. So I've already started on this. So that one is a real possibility. I do sure number four is to start on this bottle. I have a student that has an identical bottle that she is making and she is adding so many amazing details to it. I almost can't stand it. It's hers is absolutely gorgeous. And so I kept talking about how great it was. And she said, Oh, I have another bottle. Would you like it? And she gave it to me. So what I really like about it is it takes the guesswork out of it, makes it a little bit easy because it already has a pattern and you can follow it loosely like she's doing, which I think I would do. So I really love the idea that there's something on there to follow already and just making a very rich, detailed bottle. That's idea, idea number, number five is to make a an ornament for my dog, Peanut put on my tree this year. And I bought this base just this week, Michael's. It wasn't very much. I think it was on sale even. And I don't know if I want to put her name. I'm out of ball chain. So this one might be on hold because I like to make the letters out of ball chain. But we'll see because I might have some letter um, beads that I can use to, to spell out her name. Or maybe I won't even spell her name at all. She's our only dog, so it's not really doesn't have to have her name on it. So I've had these sitting out on this um, workbench top for a while, all of this jewelry, these jewelry bezels. So I could make a whole bunch of jewelry pieces. Um, the only thing that's called a hold of me back about that is I'd like to pull some more Filotti before I do that. And that's a whole process. It takes a while, so I'm not so sure about that one, but I do want to make those. I also have this mosaic that I halfway grouted. I grouted to the dark grout, but I didn't grout the background. So it'd be nice if I could just finish grouting this piece, paint the edges, put the hanging hardware on there and just finish it and have it. That's While I'm trying to decide, I'm having a drink of coffee and look at my amazing Japanese maple. I can see it from my studio. The color's amazing. The weather is like 69 degrees and sunny. It's absolutely gorgeous out. I only want to do yard work, but I think I'm going to work in the studio. I don't know. And the winner is, I've decided to make some filati. So I'm at my grill outside and first things first, I'm gonna tie my hair back because I am using a torch and I just need to be careful. And I have some goggles and let me just get after it here. I have cut up some different recipes and some bright colors. I think I wanna make some florals and I need pink, red, and yellow. And here's some more yellow. So I'm going to be doing some daffodils, I think, and tulips. So those are the different ones I'm going to pull. Let me get started.
that I've made. Um, it's also called Malmischiato because it's poorly mixed. I put several colors in there. They don't actually mix. I don't stir the colors and mix them. But that cut side is the side that I will put up in a mosaic. So that cut part is the part that matters. I dropped some of these, they broke. So I have this first yellow. I have three different yellows, I believe. And then here's, or no, here's another one. This one with yellow and white. And then a pink one, and then this one was a red one. And I had pulled this one twice, which is why it's such a funky shape. Uh, but I'll be breaking it here so I can store it. Anyway, now I have something to Next work up. with. Because it's so nice out, I'm going to go ahead and prep these and spray them. I don't know if I'm gonna work on them this week, but I'm gonna prep the frames. That's it. Rust-Oleum Gloss Finish Gloss Enamel in black. This one takes a while to dry. that lip. This dries to the touch in two to four hours and it's at dusk right now. I'm going to be pulling this into my garage to dry overnight but I'm gonna let it dry out here as long as possible and tomorrow I should be able to use it if I want to. That's what I found! Look at these great letters! They're little charms, so I'm gonna use my wire cutters to just cut the top off, like so. Oop. The T is already cut off, and I have a little heart, and I think I'll make this next. Normally for wood, I would go ahead and seal it, but this has some type of finish already on it, so I'm just gonna glue directly to it. grout it and then I'm going to glue those on top. Quick tip, for a small and easy project like this, I just turn a grocery bag inside out and after I'm all done grouting, I just flip it the other way and throw the whole mess away. This is such a small project, it practically took no time at all. Now I did put a, there is a hole there there. Make sure I take that out so that I can hang it. Just a little bit of cleanup. I'm gonna let it dry and in the meantime this whole mess can be thrown away. Look at this. How easy was that?
I've got my Filati, my Malmaschiato, some glass rods, a jewelry bezel from Amate Studios, and a little drawing of daffodils. So I want to try to do daffodils today. And instead of using a epoxy sculpt, which is the adhesive I normally use, I have bought some putty from De Mosaico, which has linseed oil and a chalk base. And then it takes longer for it to, you just have a longer working time. I've never used it before, but I wanted to try it for a while. And that's not very expensive. I think the key is that you really need to keep it airtight. So I'm unwrapping it. It's got saran wrap on it. I mean, it's a little bit oily. I'm going to just use my tool. I don't want it to fill up this bezel all the way, so I'm going to remove some of it now that I have it in there. about that putty is that I could take my time cutting the pieces as needed. I didn't have to prep stuff ahead of time. And it's it's a lot more malleable than epoxy sculpt. I know I'm always sort of in a rush with epoxy sculpt because it is pretty stiff to start with and then it stiffens up. Now if you look at the side view it's not 100% even. So I've got a little flat tile and I'm just tamping it down so that it's more even all the way across. And I don't know how long it takes to dry. I'm I'm not going it's not going anywhere, so it's just be in my studio. The oil there's oil in it that has to dry out. So I like the way it turned out. Next up is this purple funky chunky bird. And I want to show the edging because I made a few of these and I hadn't showed the edge before. It's sort of a shabby chic half painted thick edge and I just tape it off when I grow out and I don't do anything extra to the edge. There we go. have dried and 
Now they're ready to go. Look at that. Something very satisfying about pulling this, this off. bottle but I'm not planning on finishing it uh, in this video so I know I want it to be multicolored and I have these three strands of multicolored beads including this Millefiori strand and I think I'm gonna start with these maybe going around the bottle done just part of the beads on this side uh, because the E6000 is a little bit drippy and I have to sort of keep an eye on it while it's setting up but I'm ready to do the next section now. I'm kind of doing one third at a time. I got on the bottle just put a few strands and some of these yellow flower beads at the top not too far but I have plenty of time to work on that no rush and if we go this way I finished piecing this bird but have not yet crowded it so I can get to that next week and I also organized my beads because I'm doing the workshop, the wine glass workshop at the end of this week. And that was something that desperately needed to be done. These bins were on sale at Michael's this week. So that is wonderful. Did that off camera. And I prepped these three sunflowers. So that's nice. They're ready to go. Not sure when I'll get to those. I finished this one pendant, which is great. And did not get to those glasses. So not too bad. I also didn't grout that other piece, but I can get to that another time. Oh yeah, and I finished this little peanut ornament and put it on my tree. Good to go. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.